Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Oblivion. So last time we visited the Midas Astral Realms of Steel and Trees, and next up, yes, screw it, we're gonna go to Sleet. This one, as you might be able to tell from the name, is gonna be an icy world, and we only have like three or four left. There's one I'm leaving till last intentionally, it's basically a realm of light, and it's completely blinding, like you can't see a damn thing. So the only way to deal with that really is to turn the brightness all the yes. way down, so... Yeah, we're gonna do that one last. And you, Sydney, do stranded with your porn star name. You're staying there even though you've done jack shit. Maybe we'll be back for you, maybe we won't. The reason, yes, the reason we're leaving her there is because this is my favorite Midas Magic companion, yes. Sheevan Snow. Like, if you look at her face, she could actually pass for a human being. A pasty human being, but a human being nonetheless. I thought you were naked for a second there, but I think that's her armor. It's oh, awfully yeah. skin color, that's all I'm saying. But uh, I don't see any nipples, so <laughs> we're just going to assume she's not actually naked. But yeah, the reason she's so damned awesome, besides the fact that she actually looks cool, no pun intended, is she has unique weapons and like a really badass shield. Like her sword, it's basically a glowing blue sword of death that can randomly freeze enemies. God, it's awesome. But yeah, we're all with her and the Maid of Doom for now. We might switch out Sheevan interchangeably with the other ones just to mix it up. And I believe this realm is fairly short, if I remember correctly. And like I said, we only got a few more left, so... If we're not done by the end of this video, we should probably be done by the end of the next one, I would imagine. And yes, these glowing patches do frost damage, which is extremely annoying. But yeah, you see how bright that part is? That's oh, hey buddy, how's it going? That's basically what the entirety of the Realm of Light looks like. I shit you not. Wait. Wait, the Wampa Girl. Hello? Wampa Buddy? Okay, I seem to have knocked him somewhere. I'm assuming he's on the other side of the cliff somehow, because she even's trying to attack something. I did not mean to do that. Well, screw it, I guess we gotta go around here and murder the guy horribly, otherwise they're not gonna teleport to me, and then we're gonna have a bad time. But, uh, yeah, I, there might be more to this room, I don't really know, but I seem to recall there's a tower with a boss in it and the book, and that's about it, really. Oh, you're with me? Okay, well, whatever. It's clobbering time. Where the hell are you going? I'm over here, you stupid son of a bitch. Oh my god, what is this guy doing? I wanna see what your name is. That's a Wumper, apparently. Prepare to get Womped, Wumper. <laughs> I love this spell so damn much. Okay, I see the maid over there, missing, but where the hell did she even go? Wait, she's crashed behind the rock, what the hell? Oh wait, no, that's a Wumper. God, I'm blind. Oh, there you are, welcome the hell back. I thought that was her over there. <laughs> I really need glasses, holy shit. Anyway, go get him, team. I, I, you're not gonna get him, are you? You're just gonna stand there. Okay, so this is what we need, the Womp Hide. I think if I remember correctly, we only need one of them, even though there's a bunch here that are gonna drop them. But we'll loot them just in case. Who freaking knows? Are, are you gonna attack him or no? Okay then. Oh my god, I'm taking a lot of frost damage. Holy shit. I don't think a Womp has even hit me and I'm nearly dead. Uh, guys, thank you. Holy crap. Uh, what the hell is it doing? It's just duffing the balls out. Okay, well, free kill for me, I guess. You know, when you eventually die. Why do you have so much HP? <laughs> this is, I can't stand it when mob makers do this. Enemies in Oblivion have perfectly high HP in the first place. Maybe even a little bit too high, let's be honest here. You don't need to give them any more. Oh, it's all frozen and stuff. I don't know how that works in a Wampa, but I'm not going to question it. I guess it didn't work, because when she freezes them, they're actually frozen like they can't do anything. I don't think you can even damage them. But yeah, look how damn cool her stuff looks! God, I love it! Right, so what the hell is going on up here? Ah, I see that tower over there. That's the tower with the boss and the book, I do believe. Come along, team. Come along. Random arrows. But yes, yeah, why I mean why I think this world is really short. You can see the tower's there already, so... That should be our boss fight in our book, and... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. I'll check around once we beat the boss just to make sure we're not missing anything, because you never know. There might be more here. I seem to recall there was another pathway, it might have some booty down there or something. One thing we haven't found in a long time is a Midas Ark with gold in it, so... There might be one of those around here, I really have no idea. You are the boss, right? Yes, you're right, Grode. Then prepare to die, wench. Sword of justice. My god, the blood. <laughs> so much blood. Give me that book. There we go, we got our Cryomancer's Guide. Yoink. Now it's your turn. Are you are killing me. No, 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 no. Oh god, I tornadoed myself. Kind of. Where'd she go? Uh, I assume she's over there somewhere, because she even and the maid are attacking her, but I don't actually see her. Eh, how the hell? Wow! I have like 6,000 carry weights! 
Okay, so apparently she over encumbers the crap out of you when she hits you. That's really annoying. Anyway, we gotta use a Vala Stone because most of our gear is not charged anymore. I realize we have Frost on the weapon, which probably ain't gonna do jack shit, but it's just mostly to charge the rest of the stuff. Hey, I can't really see you, but I assume you're here somewhere. Oh, there you are. Welcome back, Jack. Uh, where'd she go? That's Sheevan. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. really? I knocked out the companions and not the boss. Oops. My bad. <laughs> Hey, there we go, they're back up again. Sorry, ladies. I'm genuinely sorry. And apparently the boss is immune to Cyclone, which I guess makes sense because it's a Frost spell. Any second now, she's gonna be dead. There we go. Right, give me that booty. Pure Frost Essence. Like I say, I think we have to put them in the Essence Transmogrifier, I think it was called. And then I think you can break them down, something like that. And oh my god, how cool does her weapon look? I kind of want it. But for now, you can keep it. I don't really want to take the unique stuff off the companions, because it's almost like a part of them. It feels wrong somehow. It just feels wrong. Anyhow, so let's check out the Cryomancer's Guide. Okay, wait a minute. Where do we get a Frostworm Bow? Oh, wait, I think I actually remember. It's like an unmarked quest with, like, a troll that drops it or something? Something like that. Anyway, so Avalanche, like I say, it literally causes an avalanche on your enemies. It's so damn awesome. Breath of Frost, Midas Comets... Well, you can actually make Breath of Frost, I think. Midas Freeze Ray, Glacial Eruption, Glyph of Ice, Hailstorm. Down the way we get the Entropic Essences, I assume it's one of the realms we haven't been to yet, not entirely sure. Midas Ice Burst, Ice Storm, Ice Strike, Ice Strike. Midas Ice Walk, Midas Igloo. Snowball, Snow Flurry, Summer Frost Sprite, Summon Ice Siren, and Summon Wampa. See, that's what I'm saying. You need a Wampa Hide to make Summon Wampa, but that's it. Once you've made the spell, you don't need any more, so... Yeah, I don't get it. Anyway, like I said, I'm gonna check around just to make sure we're not missing anything here, because I'm sure I remember there being another pathway, so... I'll check around, see what's going on with that, and I'll bring you back in when I find something, or if we leave. To it appear, I have found a door. I don't think I have ever been in here before, and that rhymed. A Wampa Cave. I wonder what we're gonna find in here. Maybe Wampas. This is the brightest cave of all time, holy shit. It's very strange, actually. I assume it's supposed to be like it's snowy or frosty or something, so maybe that's why it's supposed to be bright, but yeah, it's just like a weird, unnatural light in here. It's frankly a little disturbing. So, I assume there's something important we can- oh god! I assume there's something important- I nearly hit you- I did hit you even, I'm sorry. I thought you were a Wampa, kind of. But yeah, I assume there's something important in here, otherwise why would it exist? Because like I say, we've already killed the boss and got the book, so... Yeah, I don't know, and I do not know how the mate hit that guy with her spell from there, but... I'm not gonna question it. Get up, sleepy. Well, you know, I guess I can just wail on you with a sword of justice, because I'd actually like you to die sometime this century. Thank you. Right, give me that booty. And yes, I'm gonna keep taking the hides, and no, I don't really know why, I just feel wrong leaving them. And yes, they weigh five pounds each, which is ridiculous, but... I don't know, whatever. See, Alexa, like I, I don't think I've ever actually been in this cave before, so I don't know if there's gonna be another boss in here or something? I doubt there's gonna be any more books, so... Yeah, I don't know, but there might be a unique enemy that drops an ingredient that we need for one of the spells or something, so it's worth checking out, if nothing else. But yeah, these damn Wampers, man. Too much HP. Too freaking much HP. Duh! Wait, where'd it go? I... I don't know. I... Oh, it's dead. How did you get down there? It looked like he fell into the ground. This spell is very strange. I don't really understand. But whatever. Get out of here, you scumbag. Give me that hide. Yummy! One more of those and it's actually gonna over-encumber me, so we gotta be careful of that. We gotta go down here, cause I find usually the pathway is sort of hidden like this away you wanna go. Is it just me or does that Wampa look a little bit bigger than normal? Are you a special Wampa? You're a mo- oh, holy shit! You're a mother Wampa. <laughs> that sounds like an insult. You're a mother Wampa. Yeah. Oh god, okay, it's been frozen. Not properly though, it would seem, cause yeah, like I say, I'm sure unless they've changed it, which I very much doubt. Oh. When Sheevan you- oh god, I'm dying. Sheevan, you're also blocking me in. Holy shit. But yeah, usually when Sheevan does that frost effect, it actually is supposed to completely freeze them so they can't even move. And I don't think you can even do damage to them whilst they're like that, which is frankly a little bit irritating. But she keeps doing it, but it keeps moving, so I assume they'll, they're immune to it because it's a Wampa, so... Yeah, yeah that's, that's my assumption. I don't really know, but... This mother is not dying. Like, good god. Yes, we're gonna... Oh, I'm sorry! Yeah. You ran into it. You gotta keep stone still. It's dead. 
Oh, finally, what do you have? A Wampa Pelt. Is that different? The other ones were called Wampa Hides, weren't they? Maybe I mentioned that, maybe they were called Pelts the entire time. I really have no freaking idea. But, uh, yeah, it seems like I imagined it. Well, alright then, I guess you learn something new every day. <laughs> anyway, give me a moment here to repair our shit. Okay, junk has been banked, let's go check out where the mother was. There appears to be a dead body. Hello, sir. Marcus Hanwich. Is that a pun or something? I have no idea. Well, alright then, what's it? A lightsaber. And it has no weight, which is kind of funny. And like I said, I've never been here before. I had no idea this was a thing. That's a weird color lightsaber. Well, oh, it's like blue now. Kind of purple, I guess? Blue adds more blue. That's weird. <laughs> it's kind of annoying it doesn't actually do that. Shring, but whatever. Maybe it does when you attack. I guess we'll have to check, but, uh... Yeah, we have a lightsaber now. It seems extremely weak. Like, it did, what, 20? No, it did, like, 5 damage and had, like... 20 fire damage, so like 25 damage until it runs out of charge. It might be good against the Wampas, I guess, because they're probably weak to fire, so yeah, we'll give it a try, but uh, that's very strange. Very strange indeed. But whatever, it's cool, I guess. But yeah, like I said, we'll at least give the lightsaber a try on the Wampas just to see what it's like. It's not something I really want to run around with too much, because I like my mods to fit thematically with the game. You know, it's a futuristic weapon, so it would fit into something like Mass Effect, but in Oblivion it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But we'll at least give it a try just to see if it's actually any good on the Wampa buddies. Two directions, let's go out this one just for the sake of it. Hey buddy, prepare to die. It seems to be kicking the ever-living crap out of him. Wait, what? Did I read the stats wrong or something? Did he's dead already? Did it did it say 200 fire damage? No, 20. And 5 regular. That's still crappy. I guess they must be ridiculously weak to fire. And now this guy looks like he's given himself head. I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, hey, buddy. How's your turn? Late Sabre of Justice. It's also ridiculously quick. But yeah, we're like 5 physical- oh, Jesus! Damn, son, you messed me up! Oh god, I gotta do the cave again. <laughs> okay, I saved it after the mother. Thank god for that. Well, give me a moment here. Okay, I actually cleared out the rest of the Wampa cave. Couldn't find a damn thing in there besides a bunch more Wampas. So yeah, I think the lightsaber was about all that was in there. If there's something else I missed, I can always go back and grab it. But anyway, next up we are gonna go to Air Raid. And as you might imagine from the name, I would assume this is probably gonna have something to do with wind. Yep, looks pretty damn windy to me. Also looks cool as hell. God, I love this mod. I love the realms, man. I just love the fact that they're all different. They're not ridiculously long, so they don't outstay their welcome. And they're all a little bit different, so you don't feel like you're doing the same thing over and over again. Plus, the rewards are cool. You get the Midas Magic Companions, assuming you have the mod for that. You also get the books, so you can learn some new spells. And I just knocked Shivang flying. What the hell was that random explosion? I... Oh, we're finding the Wind Devil. Come here, you windy bastard. And yes, I did just- oh, shit! It- okay, Sheevan's back again. I was gonna say, she was completely stuck in the wall there. I'm sorry. We appear to be killing a- a- a tornado or something. This is very strange. Whatever. Right, there's a doorway there to the airplane, and we also got a Sonic Essence. Still need some Entropic ones. It's kind of concerning to me that we still haven't found any. And I- oops. Sorry. And I don't ever remember finding any, so I don't know how you're supposed to get them. Like I see, there might be some funky stuff you can do in Essence Transmogrifier. Maybe you can combine some of the lower ones into it or something. I guess that makes a certain amount of sense. I don't know, we'll have to dick around. And if I can't figure it out, then I'll just Google it. Like a cheating scumbag. And I guess we'll go in this door. I don't know if they lead to the same place. Well, it's got the same name, but I don't know if we need to go in both or just one. I have no freaking idea. We have to do some platforming here. Luckily, we got jumps. Like Michael Jordan. And yes, that's a dated reference, and no, I don't care. Space Jam was yeah. awesome, damn it. I'm trying to read this dude's name whilst I'm finding him. Endora, I think it was? Endora about to be freaking in dead. Yeah, he seems to be dead, so I go on that. And yes, he also seems to have a wizard beard that Ramu had. <laughs> okay. So we killed, like, Ramu's naked hobo brother. That's all he's got is a beard and some pants. I'm not taking your pants. That's disgusting. You've been wearing them. Is she even aggroed on something now? What's the maid doing? Just running into a step. Well, all right then. Okay, there seems to be nothing else we can do around here. 
So, what was the point of this room? To come in and kill a dude and take his beard? That's some weird shit. <laughs> I don't get that. Okay, we killed a hobo for his beard. We could have also taken his pants, but like I say, I don't want no used pants. That's disgusting. Anyway, nuts to it, that was a bus, so I assume this is the door that we have to go into. But yeah, they got the same names, which is always weird and kind of confusing. No, so it looks very similar, but it's clearly not the same room. This is some strange shit, man. Like, surely this would... Oh, wait a minute, the other one was down. I was going to say, surely this would lead us to the other door, but no, that wouldn't make any sense. I... It's very confusing. This, this whole thing's messing with my brain. I see you there, wind buddy. Whoa! Okay, I knocked wind buddy with a tornado. That's awesome and makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I still don't know what that random explosion is there doing. Is it supposed to knock me off the side or something? Because it seems to do very little damage. Give me that sonic essence. Yummy! Okay, that's where we came in over there. And I saw another one off in the distance. Yeah, it's up there by the bridge. Okay. Now, brain, listen to me. Don't fall off. We'll probably have to run all this way again. And you know how bad you are at platforming. Don't fall off. Okay. But yeah, this is another one of those worlds that I remember I came here. I distinctively remember doing this, but I don't remember if there's a boss or where he is or what he looks like or anything, so... Where the hell did the Wind Devil go? They, they seem to randomly turn invisible, which is very annoying. Come here, you son of a bitch. Also, I'd like to point out that this sword, once again, is kicking the crap out of these damn things. Maybe they only have a tiny little bit of HP, and I guess there's a possibility that maybe Sheevan's doing all the damage, but then again, if that was the case, she would have been kicking the crap out of the Wumpers, so... Yeah, this, I don't know if the swords, uh, the stats of the sword just plain lie, I really have no idea, but it seems way better than it actually should be. Maybe it's got, like, some weird hidden effect because it's a lightsaber. I ain't got a clue. And you can actually arch these things, apparently, which is really strange, but <laughs> whatever I'll take it. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna switch to the Red Dread Knight Sword for now. A, because I want to see if this actually does kill them any quicker than the lightsaber, because I kind of want to figure out what's going on with the lightsaber seemingly doing way more damage than it should be. And B, just because, like I say, it's a lightsaber. It's cool and everything, and I'm sure Star Wars fans are going to be, like, drooling over that, but... It just doesn't fit with the game, so... That's kind of the way I like to keep my mods. I like to keep them fantasy as opposed to sci-fi, so... The lightsaber's cool and everything, but it just doesn't fit with the game. It seems really out of place. Where the hell? Oh, okay, we got another door here. Again to the airplane. <laughs> I just realized that sounds kind of funny. Right, what's... Ooh, platforming. Oh, God. See, I don't know if these are pits of doom. They could well be, so maybe if we fall down here, we die. I don't know. Maybe it's just like the... Oh, shit! Okay, we almost found out there. Maybe it's like the regular Midas Realm, where if you fall off, you go teleported back again. I would assume these are going to be pits of doom, especially in these rooms here, but... Who freaking knows? Okay, where are the compa- oh, there you are. Sheevan, what you doing? I kinda need you. We're gonna leave and hope she- okay, she's here. Good. Why does it yeah. appear to be dark now? I don't know, and that went right through that guy. Tell me you- stop exploding on me! You dick! <laughs> That's so damn irritating! Yeah, I guess these do seem to have very low HP, so maybe the lightsaber was only good against the Wumpus. I don't know, get off the thing! Thank you! Right, so where the hell do we go? Oh, we go over there. Is that water? It looks kind of... I guess it's supposed to be wind, but it also looks a little tiny bit like water. Again, this whole place is just tripping me. The ball was out. Really? There's a tightrope? Are you shitting me? Oh, we gotta save it. Oh, you can walk in it. I thought maybe I was doing this wrong, like it was gonna be like some kind of weird click on it and you teleport to the other side of the thing, but no. You can actually straight up walk across that. That's kind of awesome. See, that's what I'm saying, man. Just, like, unique little tiny things like that. This is why I love this mod. God, it's amazing. Oh, I think we found the boss. Okay. Once again, we're saving, because I don't want to go across the tightrope again. Even though it actually didn't seem that bad, it actually seemed to have a much bigger hitbox to walk along than it... Oh, okay. You are just wearing pants, sir. That's kind of disturbing. Oh, oh, there we go. He's off the side. Hopefully, he'll teleport back again, because... Yeah, if he doesn't... Okay, he's here again. I was gonna say, if he doesn't, then we're kinda screwed, because he's bound to drop something... What the hell was that? He's bound to drop something that we need. Wait a minute. Is he dead? He's not moving. Hello? He's dead? Okay. It looked like he killed himself. That was weird. And we got a pure Sonic Essence, which has like... Why is it only worth five gold? I guess they forgot to change that. I don't really know. Anyway, we got the Whispers of Aeromancy. 
That sounds ominous. Is there anything else in this room before we read it? Doesn't seem to be. Oh. There's a section we haven't been to over here, but I'm guessing it's just a ring that goes around the outside. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything here. Well, Alright then, I guess we'll finish this one. Let's just check out the book very quickly. Whisper. So it's gonna be down here. Yes. Control of wind and sound is the focus of this lost discipline. You're like discipline. Although this art is lost to many cultures, the wind still remembers. Well, alright then. Okay, so Midas Air Cushion uh, essentially allows us to take long falls and not take a shit ton of damage. Asphyxiation? That's kinky. Cyclone we already have. Plasma Rupture. Sound Burst. I think I remember Plasma Ball, but we haven't seen it yet. Midas Tornado. Midas Vortex. And might as well win. Okay, so not that many spells there. Again, some of those required osmotic essences, which we still don't have, so we really kinda need to dick around in the essence transmogrifier. I think we have one, maybe two more worlds left. So we should be finishing up next video. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Oblivion.